Chuck, <coughs> I'm going to start with you on this. The 2010s, what just off the top of your head sticks out in your mind? I think it was just a great time of upheaval. I think we saw tremendous change over the last decade, and we saw some of the um, old guard completely fall off and a lot of the new kings and queens emerge, and we saw who can endure, who can stand the test of time as well. So, you know, I think that, you know, streaming, things like that, came into prominence, a lot of the old rust of the old era came completely off. Titi, when you think of the 2010s, because you're in this world every day, what's, what comes to mind for you? Um, I think what comes to mind is the rap beefs. Mm. Um, they got a lot more social and viral. Mm. The effect of memes mm -hmm. <laughs> and how a meme can really, really hurt your image. Mm. Um, also, uh, the deaths so many young artists dying young um not not even in their 30s but in their early 20s um those are some of the things i think about in in this decade and the definitely the social media thing as you said is, is a huge impact carl for you what what sticks with you through this decade man i i, I gotta go with the sheer domination of drake he was just a titan uh whole decade coming in 2009 was so far gone and then just leaving his mark on the game in 2010 with his debut album uh, thank me later. I didn't think he would be able to sustain and to be able to be such a force, but for him doing it 10 years in, having over like 200 hot 100 entries, that's that's crazy to me. How many say they get it? Over 200. I think he's over at 207. 200 I think he's hot at 100 entry. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that's incredible. Chuck, what do you think about Drake in terms of the impact? Oh, oh man, I love Drake. I th I think Drake's incredible. Um, he's been criticized, but you know I don't even think that matters right now. I think that the um, his body of work, his cultural footprint, like the impact that he's um, left. Also, quite frankly, you know the battles. Like he's kind of the Meek Mill, and yeah. the way, and then the mm -hmm. way he turned that around and flipped that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I right? mean, look, that was probably the battle of the decade right there, and it really wasn't even a battle the way we traditionally look at battles. But well, there hasn't been a real battle outside of Meek and Drake. Everybody plays too nice this decade. I thought Drake um, and Pusha T. The Drake media, and Pusha T was good, and the Remy Ma and Nicki was that good. Was that that yeah, was a vicious yeah. one. Right. But um, I think now, you know, artists want to be friends. You know, mm -hmm. they want to just be everybody's bro, and that's uh -huh. my bro, and that's my <laughs> sis. And, yeah, right. you know, so... Every now and again, we do need a good rap battle. I mean, oh, what is it? A kind I, of what about that? I was gonna say, I'm glad you brought that up because I think with the Drake and, and Pusha T beef, like the gloves came off. Right. Yeah. If, if you remember how scathing Pusha T's this was, and Drake got petty and did the whole invoice thing, like yeah. that was a real ugly situation. Well, so I was at the station when Pusha came to premiere that record, and I heard it before it went to flex. What'd you think? We were all in the office, like, oh my gosh, yeah. no, no, oh my. My gosh no but I was just like oh if you're gonna go there you gotta go there yeah. and when you enter a rap battle you know the gloves come off I also think what's interesting too is when we talk about uh, rap beefs uh, the Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma beef ignited a wave of female hip-hop artists mm -hmm. you know before that um rap battle the spotlight wasn't on female hip-hop like and women that. were always mm -hmm. trying to have get yeah their place, women right. were always trying to get their place and um Remy they brought were a lot of people together yeah, and, and 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 it overlooked and mm -hmm. and they were being overlooked and it when that happened i think what it said was like whoa wait a minute mm -hmm. females can rap but mm -hmm. and like wow there is more than one so i think that was like yeah. a story to be told yeah remy remy well, you know, we have our opinions on, on, on the result, but I think that the uh, positive side is that Remy, to counter the, 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 the ferociousness of her song, she brought a lot of unity. Women, unity, yeah. yeah. That was the other side. No, of well, that was a historic moment, yeah. too, with, at Summer Jam. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. she brought Definitely. all the, all the fe a couple of years ago, when she brought all the female Cardi artists B, together. Cardi B, Young and May, Queen Latifah. Um, wow, just Lady of Rage. Raw Digger. Mm -hmm. Raw Digger. It was epic. just a lot. Lil that Kim. was epic. Lil, Lil Kim. Kim. Yeah. There were so many. So to speak, speaking of women, what Carl, Cardi B. Mm -hmm. First Man. female rap solo artist winner I, I'm, from I'm, the Grammys. I'm going to say she's like the Bronx Cinderella, the way her career just unfolded. I mean, she went from being a dancer to being an IG personality to being on Love and Hip Hop to 
hoisting that Grammy that you're talking about. I don't think we've ever seen that kind of trajectory in the history. Uh, well, history. If, you, if, you, if you couple that in with social media and then you put in a, a hit record, mm -hmm. the, the thing is the music got to be there. Mm -hmm. So if you think about early on Cardi B, you know, she was trying to music, trying to music, like a lick and all of these records that she had. Um, it didn't pop yet, but mm -hmm. when she had the hit, mm -hmm. which was Bodak Yellow, right. that's what took her to the levels that she is in now, um, coupled in with the, the personality that yeah. she has, which is un unmatched. All right, we're going to continue with this. This is Street Soldiers, The Decade in Hip Hop. Come <laughs>